Disney what? No, I st stop, don't you dare build up to another key again. Don't you, don't you dare. Hello, gals, blokes, and all other folks. My name is Mortius, and today we are here with Dan Vask's performance of Amazing Grace. I'm a little nervous for this one for a couple reasons. I'm not sure if the metal aspect of it is going to override this or not, but this song is definitely one of my weaknesses. <laughs> Um, there are a lot of emotional songs that I think once they've been played and done enough kind of lose some of its impact on me. I kind of talked about that in Voice Plays True Colors. True Colors is one of those songs that has kind of lost its impact on me over time. This one is one where it kind of always hits me. And... I'm not sure what order the videos will be coming out in, but I just got done recording one of my most emotional reactions lately, which is If I Were a Fish. If you haven't seen that one yet, please, please go check it out. That song means a lot to me. And that is one of the few reactions that I've done lately that was just for myself, not for anyone else. So if you check it out, I'd appreciate it. That one got me really emotional. And now this is a song that usually gets me really emotional. I have no idea how my heart, mind, body, soul are all going to respond to this, but I am very interested in finding out. Uh, Dan Vask has been requested to me a few times, uh, particularly his I'll Make a Man Out of You. Uh, if this one gets a good amount of views, I'm definitely interested in checking that one out too. I just haven't had time to hop into it among everything else. But my lovely, lovely patron, Kevin Snipes, was specifically requested that this one be added into the roster. And since he is one of the lovely patrons at the tiers where he can just be like, hey, react to this. And I'd be like, mm -hmm, okay, I'm finally getting around to Dan Vass. So like I said, if you are one of the people who have been asking for I'll Make a Man Out of You, blow up this video. Definitely make sure you share it, like it, do all the YouTube things, and I'll try to do that one. But for now, I am very excited without any further ado to hop on into Dan Vask's metal cover of Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace How sweet the sound Okay. That saved a wretch like me His tonality, the kind of like vocal vowel shapes that he's using here are very unique. I like them a lot. Hold on, I want to listen. Wretch. Like that. Wretch. Wretch. It's very, very forward without beat. Like, it's not easy, actually, as you just saw when I did it and sounded really shaky. It's not easy to have your voice be that far forward without starting to get into the nasal cavity and having it start to come out through your nose a little bit, you know? Like, it's very hard to get everything for, like, there's kind of a the way that it's described. It's not actually, obviously, how it works, but, like, the way that it's often described when you're learning how to control your registers is, like, very, very far back, like you're swallowing your lyrics versus really far forward. But as you could hear, as I went forward, it started coming out of my nose. He, like, wretch. Like, he's really got it forward without being nasal. That's really interesting. Like me. Oh, it's like he's pushing it out of his face. Once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. And man, those echoes definitely add like a very ethereal kind of nature to it, um, which I definitely appreciate a lot. I can definitely feel that this is just the slowness, like this is the calm before the storm, so I'm very nervous to press play. And I really liked the calmness of that intro. Oh, now I see. And yeah, like I said, it's not like, 
I see where you can feel it in the back of your throat, C, and it's more of a E sound where like you've got that rounder lip. He's like, C, like the way that he actually does E is very, very hard. E is a tough vowel to sing, um, which is why most people you hear E either turn into A, like, for me and greatest showman or um e, which is more of a like e, kind of sound where it's e versus e it sounds similar but it's very difficult to get that e going like that and he did well Okay, not what I was expecting. Grace, my fears really. Not what I was expecting at all. I was really expecting a suit like I was expecting like a like a big like riff or drop or something where it was like, but now I see Dun -dun 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 -dun. like you know what I mean? Like bump like jumping straight into the metal, but it's still we're still in the slow build stage. What does oh wait. Oh I misunderstood. I just reread the title. I am very sorry. This is not metal cover of Amazing Grace. This is metal singer performs Amazing Grace. Oh yeah, this is gonna break me by the end. So this is just, it's just gonna affect his tonality and timbre. This is not a metal cover. This is a metal singer performing Amazing Grace. Oh, I apologize for not properly comprehending the five word title. Let's actually, now that my expectations are reset, Let's hear what this man has for us. Really, how precious did the grace appear the hour I first believed through me. From where, sir? From where? No, I, I need to hear that register switch. That's up there from someone who sounded like they had it. Like I was expecting the whole thing to be in that lower register because it sounded like his voice sat so naturally there. And then to just go into the, oh man. Oh my gosh, I don't know if it's just because of the way he has to hold it for the microphone, but I just felt like a wave of vulnerability pass through the screen. Like just the way he just like brought it out, just like it literally is like he's bringing his, I'm trying not to cover my mouth, but bringing like, like that. You know what I mean? Like the way he just brings it in like that so close Oh, I don't know. There was just something so... This is not what I was expecting from this.
listen to that. Listen to those consonants. 10,000. Like 10,000. You know? Like every consonant is hit with such 10,000. But still in that like, oh, like, whoa. Oh, I need a vocal analysis on this stat. I need. No, I st stop, don't you dare build up to another key again. Don't you, don't you dare. There was a point there where I like actually lost my balance and fell to my green screen, like a Victorian woman falling into her chair. Good God. Oh man, the vulnerability and the rawness of that grit, just the, and like his face when he was hitting that just, like it had so much emotion in it. Oh my God. Jesus. <laughs> there go the chism hands. There they go. There go the dinosaur arms. Ah! No, my dude, and you, whoa. Oh no, I need to let that whole note play. And the way he does that, like you can see his mouth change a little bit and it adds this like, almost like, Artificial vibrato, and I don't mean like, normally artificial is a bad word when you're describing music, but I don't mean it like that. More like, I'm saying artificial vibrato the same way that I would say that like, later Adam Rupp are doing artificial drums. Like not artificial because they are bad or fake or not impressive, just because it's not actually the thing it's replicating. That being said, whoa. Was blind, now I see. I won't have. Oh, you can't going. Oh no! Dude. I don't think I would be able to properly articulate what I was expecting, but I can articulate that it sure as shoot wasn't that. 
Wow, that was phenomenal. That was beautiful. That like, that got emotions out of me that this song never has before. It didn't like reduce me to tears like a lot of the, a lot of covers of this song often do, but it just, it like pulled something out of me that I didn't know I was keeping inside. Oh my gosh. This has been an absolutely exhausting recording session. I need to go lay down. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, if you want to see more of this guy, let me know in the comments. Make sure you show that with likes and views and things like that. I'm not trying to be like, hey, you better make this video successful if you want me to do what you want. But like, that's kind of the metric by which I decide what things to focus on in the channel. Things that have a lot of interest in them get done more. Things that don't get done less. That's kind of just the reality of having a YouTube channel. A lot of people are like, oh, like, well, he's never going to check that out again unless we like the video and share it. And I'm like, I mean, not in like, a, oh, you didn't like the video? Well, I'm not going to do it more. Ha. Huh. But in just a like, that's how I know it's liked. That's how I know the people wants it. I'm not going to take my time doing the things that the peoples don't want. But that being said, thank you to my patrons for making videos like this happen. Thank you again so much. Special shout out to Kevin. Did I point to the right place again? I'm getting better at that. For uh, requesting this video. And as always, gals, blokes, and all other folks, I will see you in the next video. Bye.